what is up guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi hello welcome my name is Grace I'm a farmer photographer a welder and now a youtuber I guess and today we're farming in the river bottom so um, I asked in my last video if you guys would like maybe like a second video of the week so that is what I'm doing today you guys will start seeing me on Fridays also so Monday and Friday I will upload my Friday uploads are gonna be like a little bit of a shorter They're gonna be like a shorter vlog but still a vlog and it'll be fun so yeah all right so this is the river bottoms this is what we call the river bottoms so whenever i say we're harvesting or we're cutting the river bottoms this is what i'm talking about this is right here and it wraps around back behind that tree line i got my Endpoints with me. My new bolts. So we're gonna see if we can figure this out. Got a little ditch right here. Hodge just living his best life up here with me. So we're gonna see what we can't come up with. So this is what we're working with here. These are the original um, little points that go right there. So these are the original and dad welded on this piece of piping to try and help with um, things wrapping up on the reel. So I got both sides right here. We're gonna put one on and make sure they're angled right. If they're not, we're gonna go back up to the shop and take a torch to it. So let's see what we got. I also went ahead and got just regular bolts because these were apparently a pain in the butt. So um, I got new bolts and we'll see if those will work. All right, so this is what we're working with. That's what we got. I think they look good. How they're sitting on there right now, since it's picked up, it looks like it's leaning way back this way too much, but when you put it down, it's just a little bit this way, which is what we want. So I think they're good. I don't think I need to go and take a torch to them or anything. So I'm gonna put the bolts in it and tighten it down and we'll be ready to cut some beans. What do you say, Hod? Yeah. <laughs> So I got the combine warming up, warming up. I'm gonna tighten those bolts. Um, I had to go back up to the farm to get a socket that would fit them. Um, and my truck is out of commission right now. The brakes are not um, doing too good. So I'm using the grain cart as, as my whip today. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to tighten these up while this is warming up and then put my tools up and we're going to get after it. Alright, so I just made the first pass and um, so far looks pretty clean to me. What do you think? So we are going to go ahead and get started with the next pass. I wish Hyde would move. But it's alright, he'll move when I start. So we start the header, start the separator, throttle up. And I wish he would move. I 
and after that second pass, it's looking pretty clean out there, so I am very happy with these. So I want to point out, whenever the header plugs like that, you always want to just turn the header off. You don't want to turn the separator off until everything is cleaned out of the system, because if you shut the separator off, it'll also plug the rotor, and you definitely don't want to do that. So that is why I just shut the header off, so that it'll stop running and it won't plug anymore, but I leave the separator on so that it'll get all the trash out. Just reverse the header, see if we can get it out. So I didn't record for this, but as I was reversing the header, I was backing up so that all of that junk that was coming out of the feeder house was falling back onto the ground so it wouldn't all feed right back in at the same time and plug up again. three ways around it so I, whenever I make this last pass back that one will be completely cut around and then there's one more in the back of the field that I have to cut around so there's only three there was two in the other one I'm pretty sure there's another one of the oil wells that we're gonna cut around today so here's the oil well I cut around yesterday uh, it's marked with a keg <laughs> Get my sweet baby. Okay, so for snacks today, I brought two Capri Suns, obviously. I brought a Melly Yellow. I have a bag of chips. I brought more Scooby Snacks, um, some grips. Brought some granola bars. Um, I think that's it. There it is, right there. Go back up. videos are so shaky and um, yeah I'll have to get a new one that's all right so sorry if you couldn't really see what I was doing but we just cut around that <laughs> just happened but all of these beans and all of these beans were plugged in my header but it didn't plug it up and it wasn't dragging up so the cutter bar was still cutting this side is perfectly fine so I don't know we're gonna see we're gonna investigate I'm gonna clean all this off and um, go up there and I See if the belt's even turning, I guess. I guess we'll see. Well, I found the issue. Um, there was a bunch of like grass and yeah, pretty much just grass. And it was all, there was like a big clump of it stuffed underneath the draper belt right there in the front. So I pulled that out best I could, and I was going to run it and see if that was even the problem, like if the belt was turning or not. And it turned hard at first, and then it kicked all that stuff out, and now it's turning. So I guess the belt just got clogged and stopped turning, but we are rolling now. So 
all I can ask for. Now I'm just picking up all the stuff that I had to pull out. Slowly picking it all up. Don't want to go too fast because I don't want to plug it. Definitely not. It's just going nice and slow. Alright. Now we're ready to go. Alright, so we finished back there. Um, and I am headed up to the farm with um, probably like two dumps on the grain cart and gonna unload it on a truck if there's one available. If not, I'm gonna go home and get something to eat probably while I wait. I mean, he might as well just put his nose on the window. Sorry, I am just like obsessed with my dog because he's just the cutest little guy. He's just so cute. Anyway, there's the farm up there. You can see my poor, poor truck up there. It's gonna get fixed tomorrow though, so me and Hyde can go cruising. Yeah, I said it. Can someone please tell me how I'm supposed to push the clutch pedal in? with my sweet baby Hyde down there eating all the crumbs from my granola bar. Please help. Go on. Good boy. And we're back. We had to wait a little bit for a truck. But that's okay. Because we're back now. And we're going to finish cutting the rest of what's in the bottoms for um, my aunt. we got left down here. Look what I found. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's got two wheels, so I like it. But I'm really impressed with those things we added to the points. So down here um, in the river bottoms, you get a lot of like vines and just like right by the river. And I mean, it's just pushing right through it. It's not wrapping at all. I'm blown away. This is amazing to me. Because I probably would have already had to stop like seven or eight times. So, I'm impressed. <laughs> Alright, headed back up to the farm. I got done in the bottoms just now. And I'm going up here to cut a little piece that's back there. And then we have like 40 acres left of beans so you guys will get to finish beans with me tomorrow just kidding my dad finished up beans for me so that i could go to the hospital to see my friend also tomorrow i am hopefully going to be getting my truck done i don't know <sighs> i hate working on my truck it's so annoying but, um, yeah. I am going to go ahead and cut this video off because we are almost done for the night. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out all my other social media accounts linked down below. And check out my merch at FarmerGrace.com. And I will talk to you guys.